So a 18 year old hacker who leaked GTA 6 clips last year has been sentenced to life in a hospital prison. They basically said, you know what, you're spending time in Arkham Asylum and they threw away the key. They said, good luck. This is crazy. The thing is, I was scrolling Twitter and I thought it was fake. I thought there's no way this article, I thought it was from a fake account, you know, and people have got those um, verified accounts. But it turns out it's legit. It's on the BBC News website. So let's just scroll through the info. Ariane Kurtaj from Oxford, who has autism, was a key member of an international gang lapsus, if that's correct. The gang's attack on tech giants include Uber, NVIDIA and Rockstar Games cost the firms nearly $10 million. And it says here he will remain at a secure hospital for life unless doctors deem him no longer a danger. Bloody hell. The jury was told that while he was on bail for hacking NVIDIA and BT slash EE and in police protection at a travel lodge hotel he continued hacking and carried out his most infamous hack despite having his laptop confiscated Kurtaj managed to breach rockstar the company behind gta using an amazon fire stick his hotel tv and a mobile phone hold on hold on hold on a minute what's going on here sometimes even if you don't have your oyster card you can't even get on the bus but this guy's out here with his laptop confiscated the main device to connect to the internet and said you know what don't worry about it fellas i've got my fire stick i've got the tv remote <laughs> and i just got my mobile phone that's all i need baby yeah you're gonna hold this and he's out hacking companies multi-million dollar companies from the comfort of a travel lodge hotel hey listen sometimes you can't even get into your own room if you forget your key you know you got to fight with it like this is crazy he said you know what there's no limits to what i can do and i'm gonna show you wow the thing is this guy this 18 year old prodigy should be working for fbi cia mi5 all these established um organizations there's no way they should be just dashing this guy in jail he's way too talented i'm sorry aren't there films based on this where there's like someone that hacks into the government they're like you know what the fact you were saying that you're going to leak the stuff we're not going to imprison you just work for us you know and we'll let this slide and that's fine so they're basically indebted to them but they're just throwing away, they're throwing away a gold mine right now. Yeah, so it says he broke into the company's eternal Slack messaging system to declare if Rockstar does not contact me on Telegram within 24 hours, I will start releasing the source code. He then posted the clips and source code on a forum under the username Teapot Uber Hacker. The other 17 year old was sentenced to rehabilitation order, including intense supervision and a ban on using VPNs online. <laughs> Uh, he's trying to do that CompTIA course. Kurtaj and the 17-year-old are the first members of Lapsus Group to be convicted, but it is thought others are still at large. I don't know, it's, it's um, bizarre, but like I said, they're extremely talented to be 17 and 18 and be able to hack with hardly any devices. But then again, you're just um, trying to get money out, extortion out of everyone. But yeah, um, CIA and FBI should hire them. But they said that they, now somebody on tweeted, but they got community noted where technically they only have to serve six months but then if the if they're deemed not um a danger to society then they can be let out so but then 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 again the guy said he wants to come out and hack <laughs> not even cook you know hack yeah no he's, he's cooking up something he's cooking up a prison sentence so i don't know but yeah gta is going to make back the money probably within like one day of um the release of gta 6